a great day to be a monarch because not only is Alumni Day, but also National Girls and Women in Sports Day as Scepter Brownlee, the assistant coach, is directing all the youngsters behind me. And Susan, Old Dominion celebrates a 77-61 win against one of the longtime women's basketball rivals from Louisiana Tech. Yeah, two really great basketball programs, and uh, but Old Dominion certainly prevailed today. They uh, played extremely well on both ends of the floor and came away with a huge victory. How did they get it done today? Well, I think the biggest thing was defensively. Uh, I know Coach McRae said they fouled a little bit too much, but I thought they played uh, really good defense, took away some things that Louisiana Tech wanted to do. They rebounded the ball extremely well, and then they distributed it. They found teammates that were open, and those teammates knocked down shots. Three players put big stat lines together for the Monarchs, but I want to start with somebody who might have been a little below the radar in terms of her points compared to the productivity we've seen from her in conference play this year. But I'm talking about Taylor Edwards. She only had 11 points only. I say that she's been double figures every single game, but eight assists now in back-to-back -back games for the Monarchs. Yeah, she's uh, really working hard to get a lot of people involved. Um, when they're taking away what she likes to do, which is penetrate in the paint, and they're taking that away from her other teams are, they know that. Uh, she's finding players and her teammates that are open. Eight assists, no turnovers, and she has the ball in her hands a lot of the time. That's pretty impressive. And Old Dominion as a team assisted on 73% of their made baskets over this two-game homestand. That's a different look for this team. It is a different look, but I think it's the best look for this team. I think this team is extremely uh, good and they're going to win more games when they are doing that. When they're distributing the ball, they're finding the player that is open. And I think that gives them a lot of confidence to knock down those shots. But the player who really made her presence felt all throughout this game, regardless of the situation, was Amari Young. Career highs in points and rebounds with 21 and 16. Yeah, lefty. I, I love her game, and she just plays so hard. On She never takes a possession off, and that's so important. She plays hard all the time on the defensive end, but tonight uh, she really went at it on the offensive end and, and uh, really pretty much uh, carried this team. Conference USA steals leader Amari Young with three steals to go along uh, with the 49 that she came into with uh, for today's game for Old Dominion. Also had a block shot and three assists in 33 minutes played. Asia Hudson continued her hot stretch from Thursday after she hit four in a row in the first half to score 15 against Southern Miss. Puts up a career excuse me a season high 20 points on six of 11 from three today against La Tech. Yeah, she's shooting the ball extremely well here. And uh, I think, you know, with that confidence, that's just going to help her on the road to shoot the ball well. And they're going to need it. They're, they've got some tough games coming up on the road. And then Marie Reichert, 12 points, 6 of 7 from the field, ties her career best. How important was that for the freshman from Germany uh, who's kind of been going through the motions in conference play to step up and have the game she had today? I think it was important for her to give her a little confidence, you know, to come out and to play even harder. I think she's been playing really hard. She's uh, struggled as far as fouling. That's kept her over on the bench a lot. But So I think it's given her some confidence knowing she can score, she can uh, rebound uh, in this conference, and uh, hopefully that will just propel her to play even better as the end of the season approaches. Nikki McRae's team now 18-3 overall. They stay in at least second position in Conference USA at 8-1 at the midpoint as they head to West Texas to take on UTSA and UTEP next after their seventh straight victory overall. Their 13th in a row in this building, 77-61 over Louisiana Tech. For Susan Montgomery, I'm Doug Ripley. Follow us on Old Dominion Women's Basketball along the way right here on Monarch Media.